Welcome to the Power of Renegade. This is Professor Ron with Renegade Racefield Tech Line and coming to you tonight just to talk to you a few minutes about what octane your engine needs. So I'm sitting here in the engine shop at home and like a lot of us with this virus, we're spending a little more time at home than we uh, are used to. So the good thing is getting caught up on some projects. The bad thing is can't get out of the shop to go racing. So, uh, but hopefully that's gonna change here soon. So what I want to talk to you about is, is we're looking here, and you can kind of see a little bit behind me. Uh, right behind me, I have a 588 up here on the stands, a 605. Kind of down here off my elbow, we've got a 582, and, and just behind me, working on finishing up a 383. So when we look at these engines, like particularly the three that are behind me, ranging from 582 to 605, they're all in that 14.5, 15 to 1 compression range, yet the fuel requirements are different for each of those. And that's what I want to share with you tonight is talking about Octane. And certainly, Octane doesn't make power, but it provides detonation protection. How much do I need? Well, I only need as much protection as I need to stop detonation. Anything beyond that is really just wasting our money uh, buying a higher Octane fuel you need. It's not going to add to the power. So what I have to look at on the, uh, the requirements and our guidelines, uh, when you read our brochures, you look at our website, we try to give you some general guidelines on how much compression, what kind of RPMs that the fuel will support, but there's a little bit more to that. And we need to take a look at what cylinder head are you running? And if I look at these three engines behind me, I've got three different engine combinations, um, everything from a 12 degree on the 588 behind me to a 24 degree uh, Brodex head on the 605 and a dart head on the, the uh, 582. So. Because of the design there, because of the stroke, the length of the rod, the time the piston spins at top dead center, what we call dwell time, all of those things are gonna factor in to the type of fuel I need, what the burn rate is, and how much octane level I'm gonna require for that cylinder pressure that we're gonna generate. Because each one of these, while they may be 14 and a half, 15 to one, they're all three. And then again, the other thing that's gonna impact that's gonna be cam timing, um, the amount of valve overlap and so forth, how much pressure we bleed off at certain points. So as you can see, there's a lot of factors that go into determining what octane fuel the engine needs. Uh, certainly these engines are gonna fall in the 114 to 116 range for the most part. Uh, but to help you with that um, and narrow down on those guidelines and you, like I said, looking at the brochure will give you some general ideas. Give us a call on the tech line, 270-467-4221. Log on to tech at renegaderacefuel.com. Shoot me your questions, give me your engine combination and we'll help you hone in and get just the right octane to give you the protection you need without spending more money than you need to be spending on your racing program. That's all I have this evening. Take care.